There is the most optimal way of doing anything, and the same applies to nutrition. When you're trying to get into ketosis, then your food choices are somewhat limited. Nevertheless, I'm still going to share with you the top 5 foods for the ketogenic diet for all the macronutrients, proteins, carbs, and fat. Mm, take off. Hold on, hold on a minute. But first, let's think about what do we actually want to get from the food that we eat. It has to be ketogenic, which means it promotes ketones and it doesn't kick you out of a fat burning state. It has to be healthy, which means it doesn't cause inflammation or too much stress on the body. Nutrient dense, full of essential amino acids, fatty acids and micronutrients. And of course it has to be tasty, delicious and satiating. And lastly empowering to have beneficial hormonal and physiological effects on both your body and your mind. To use that fuel to kick more ass. Everything the body needs. Let's start off with the top five fat sources on keto. Of course on keto fat is larger than life. After you become keto adapted, it's your body's main fuel source. The top 5 keto sources are MCT oil. Basically, it's liquid ketones that can be converted into energy a lot faster. There are a lot of health benefits to MCT oil, such as increased metabolic rate, more energy for the brain, and improved insulin sensitivity. Extra virgin coconut oil. It's also high in medium chain triglycerides, but also saturated fat. It's one of the best fats to cook with because it has quite a high smoking point. Grass fed butter, full of vitamin K and other essential fatty acids. Using grass fed gives you even more mineral. Extra virgin olive oil. It's mainly monounsaturated fat and has a lot of antioxidants and polyphenols. It's a great source to get a variety of fats. Don't use it at high heat though because it will turn rancid and promotes inflammation. Avocados, one of the best keto foods high in potassium and magnesium. It's the world's fattiest fruit and it tastes delicious. How much fat to eat per day depends on how many calories you're aiming to get and what your goals are. What is my purpose? You pass butter. You can also take exogenous ketones that will make you more ketotic. You can get a 20% discount code of the perfect keto exogenous ketones by using the code SEAMLUND. Link is in the description. Next up is protein. Another essential macronutrient that gives us the necessary amino acids for growth. Top 5 protein sources on keto are pastured eggs. Wild caught salmon, the fattiest fish of them all, rich in omega 3s, DHA, and EPA again. Great for cardiovascular health and longevity. Grass fed beef. Red meat is rich in creatine, which is good for not only building muscle and strength, but also has cognitive benefits. On top of that, it has minerals and vitamins, especially B vitamins. Oysters, the richest source of zinc in the world. Zinc is essential for testosterone production and hormonal balance. Organ meats like liver, heart, brains, kidneys. The most nutrients are not in the flesh, but in the organ meats. The liver has all of the B vitamins, especially B12. And the taste isn't that bad as you might think. You just have to get over the psychological barrier. Luckily my father is a hunter and I have access to wild game. This is probably the highest quality meat you can get. Just take a look at the heart of this moose that weighs 2 kilos or 5 pounds almost. It's massive and it's packed with nutrients and protein. What carbohydrates do you eat on keto? Of course you want to get as little carbohydrates as possible while still maximizing the micronutrient component of the food. Spinach is one of the most nutrient dense leafy green vegetables. It has zinc, protein, magnesium, fiber, vitamin K, vitamin B6, folate including many others. One cup of spinach has double the amount of potassium than a banana. Also spinach was Popeye's favorite food and he was quite strong. Sea vegetables like algae, spirulina, cholerella are the best sources of carbohydrates we should be eating. In addition to the baffling micronutrient content, they're also rich in iodine, selenium and iron. It's a superfood that has omega-3s as well. Broccoli. In addition to its great fiber content, broccoli is one of the best foods in the world that fights cancers and tumors. It reduces blood pressure, has anti-aging compounds and improves our immune system. By eating broccoli every single day, you're doing your health a huge favor. Kale. One of the most popular and trendy vegetables is probably kale. I'm not gonna lie to you when I say that 
it's great, but it's not that special in comparison to the other superfoods listed here. It also fights cancer, inflammation, boosts your immunity, and also protects your eyes. Hell yeah! Cabbage is as efficient at providing us with the needed vitamins and fiber. It can come in many different variations and colors, like red cabbage, bok choy, savoy cabbage, green cabbage, and chard. Let's get me started in here! One key thing to remember is to keep your electrolyte and hydration game on point when you're doing the ketogenic diet. Use good quality Celtic sea salt or pink Himalayan rock salt. Cooking bone broth should be another essential staple for your ketogenic menu. Get all the collagen proteins, get all the magnesium, the potassium and the sodium all extracted from this amazing drink. I believe these are the top foods for keto. They call bacon. In fact, they should be the staples of any other nutritious diet because the micronutrient components of them are quite amazing. If you want to know how to start the ketogenic diet and incorporate these foods into your menu, then check out my Udemy video course on it called Simple Keto. I'll leave a discount code for 70% off in the description. But click the like, subscribe, notification bell as well. Thanks for watching. My name is Sim. Stay on top of your game. Stay empowered.